Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and who. martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unbelievably. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a disappointment. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. One of the best in the business, Herb Wait, Dean, is our referee ready. tonight. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Circling away towards the left now. Well, DC, they say styles make fights. We haven't had much of a fight here through the first minute. It hasn't been to this point. I mean, I don't have much to say, and I always got something to say. Attempts the front kick there. Good jab there by the champion. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Just over three minutes to go. Nice job defensively. They're so evenly matched here. So it's a tap. Still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Lands a nice one, too. Big right hand. I 
well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. It got checked. Under a minute now to go in round one. Great punch from the punch here. Another good shot. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big left hand there inside. Final second to round one. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both oh! oh, he is stunned, trying to recover here. Beautiful spinning kick lands! Oh! Go, 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 go! Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Well, he misses with the left punch there. There's that side kick. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, and he lands another oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. So some oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, my goodness. What a right hand. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. You need the takedown. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. with that one. Let's go. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Oh, nice! Right on the button. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Oh, two rounds in the books. All right, nice work. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. Put the pressure on him. Don't give him an 
opportunity. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Can you imagine what some of those knees would do to a human being like me? Oh, man, let me tell you, I've been on the wrong end of some knees like that, and they are very damaging. They start to really wear at the gas tank, and you could see it in his opponent, and the way that his opponent has now started to react to the idea of another one of those knees landing. You ready? You ready? Do Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Lee's shot is blocked. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. A massive shot that he landed. Great job. Circling to his right. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive player. Oh! Keep Unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Great punch landed with so much power. One minute now to go in the third. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as the knee to the body. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Pinpoint usage of the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and certainly making it count in this matchup team. Oh, big head kick there. Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, nasty cut there right on the bridge of the nose. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad. But this one is in a spot where it shouldn't affect him too much. What we have to watch, though, John, is if the nose is broken. Right. Then it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity. Potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, my goodness. Blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cup is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta on, try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he stands, he's in a lot of trouble. 
Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Well, this is he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's right hand. He's absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh! Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. 90 seconds to go. Relax, relax. Ooh, he lands a kick to the leg. What a kick, that one landed. Oh, he's hurt bad. Under a minute to go. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful. Just look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Oh, 20 God. minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Well, that overhand, big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Lee's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside physician. He is continuing to target that area. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Oh, good head movement there. Oh, what an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent started going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Head kick partially blocked. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this early. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. Left hand counter there. He's got to 
got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Side of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Herb Dean steps in! Oh my goodness! You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the app. <laughs> Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and given this.